Hello, and welcome to our GearHead Technology video. My name is Liz, and during this video presentation, we will cover the benefits of using geared stepping motors. I'd like to begin with a video demonstration. This video is used for demonstration purposes. We can see two stepping motors at the top working in sync. However, for today's purpose, I'd like to focus on the bottom half of this assembly. There's a stepping motor on the vertical axis, which is doing the positioning of the assembly at the top. There's also a geared stepping motor on the horizontal axis of this system, which is doing the tilting of the back and forth of this application. For applications with large inertia loads and high torque requirements such as this one, geared stepping motors are beneficial. The benefits of using geared stepping motors consist of increasing torque, downsizing, drag large inertia loads, repeatable positioning, increasing accuracy, and reducing vibration. I'd like to begin with increasing torque. Torque of the gearhead is equivalent to torque of the motor times I, where I is the gear ratio, times the efficiency of that gear. Oriental motor has to also consider the maximum torque based on some mechanical reasons, such as the gear teeth strength, the gear carrier strength, and the gear case strength. In this example, we compare the permissible vest maximum torque. Here we compare a stepping motor with a planetary 7 to 1 gear ratio has a permissible torque value of 1.5 newton meters. If we take that same motor and we use a 10 to 1 gear ratio, we see the permissible value for torque remains the same at 1.5 newton meters. However, we now have a maximum torque of 2 newton meters. The maximum torque can be used for instantaneous moves, such as acceleration or deceleration purposes. The permissible torque value can be used continuously throughout that speed range. Generating torque. Torque produced is related to the amount and quality of gear contact. Here we compare a taper hop gear, planetary gears, and harmonic gears. We can see that the taper hop gear has one point of contact. The planetary gear has three points of contact. Therefore, the planetary gear can produce more torque than that of the tapered gear. And we also have the harmonic gear, which has many points of contact. Therefore, the harmonic gear can produce more torque than that of any other gearing option. The next benefit is downsizing for equivalent torque of the output. Here we compare a standard type motor, 85 millimeters in frame size, to that of a geared motor, 60 millimeters in frame size, with a 5 to 1 gear ratio. Weight can also be reduced. In this comparison, weight was weight was reduced from 4 pounds to 3.3 pounds. Here we see the standard motor dimensional drawing, and we can compare that to that of the 60 millimeter frame size with a 5 to 1 gear ratio. The geared motor, motor length can also be reduced. Oriental Motors geared motor is shorter than adding a third party gear head because no coupling is required. The top motor can be represented by Oriental Motors gearing stepping motors. We can see that no coupling is used. The motor pinion is directly coupled to the gearing mechanism. Whereas, the bottom motor, a coupling is used to add a third-party gear head, therefore extending the overall length. The third benefit is the ability to drive larger inertia loads. Here we can see the load inertia is less than or equal to the rotor inertia times 
30 because we're looking at a closed loop system for this example times i, where i is a gear ratio, squared. For open loop systems, it would be 10 times. Here we see a standard motor and comparing that to that of a geared motor with a 5 to 1 gear ratio. With this example, you can potentially have up to 25 times as much load. Shorter positioning times. In this example, we compared the positioning angle of the output shaft, measured in degrees, to that of the positioning time, which is measured in milliseconds. Here we compare the same standard and geared motor as the previous example, and we can see that the geared motor can position faster up to about 120 degrees with 38 ounce inches of inertia load. If we increase that inertia load value, to 230 ounce inches squared, we can see the geared motor can position faster up to about 540 degrees. Stable motion under changing load inertias. In this example, we compare the same standard 85 millimeter frame size to that of the 60 millimeter 5 to 1 geared motor Assuming they both have an inertia load value of 153 ounce inches squared, if we decrease that in inertia load to 115 ounce inches squared, we can see the standard type motor has to overshoot and undershoot to find the stable region, whereas the geared motor is not affected. The next benefit is the repeatable positioning time. Here we compare the positioning angle of the output shaft, measured in degrees, to that of the positioning time, measured in milliseconds. We compare inertia load values of 38 ounce inches squared, 77 ounce inches squared, 153 ounce inches squared, and 230 ounce inches squared. We can see that there's a wide gap with the positioning times. If we take these same load inertia values and we use them on a geared motor, we can see that the positioning time is significantly reduced. The next benefit is the stop holding position accuracy. Here we compare the same two motors. We compare the measured angle of the output shaft in degrees and the stop position accuracy under no load and under a friction load of 1.5 newton meters. We can see here that the brown line, which is represented by the geared motor, is not affected, whereas the gray line, which is represented by the standard motor, is. This is mainly due because the geared motor has more torque and it is also moving at a smaller step angle than that of the standard type motor. The next benefit is the ability to reduce vibration. Here we compare the vibration characteristics of a standard motor and of the geared motor. If we pick a point on the graph such as 50 RPM, we can see that vibration is reduced with the geared motor. This is because with a geared motor 5 to 1 gear, the, gear has, the motor has to spin 5 times as fast to achieve the same 50 RPM. Therefore, the vibration is reduced. When selecting a gearhead, there are some characteristics which we have to consider, such as backlash, which is the amount of play in the gear teeth or coupling. Angular transmission error is the difference between the theoretical rotation angle of the output shaft and the actual rotation angle, and permissible torque which is a torque limited by the mechanical strength of the gearhead when operated at a constant speed. Oriental Motor offers a wide range of geared stepping motors, from the basic spur gear to our low backlash planetary PL taper hob and planetary PS style, and our non-backlash, which is our planetary PN and our harmonic gear. The gear ratios will vary based on the gear, the gear that's used as well as the available frame size for that specific gear head.
For further details regarding our stepping motors, please continue on to our other GearHead technology videos. If you need any help selecting a geared motor, please contact us at 1-800-GO-VEXTA or visit us at orientalmotor.com. My name is Liz, and I thank you for watching our GearHead technology video.